We just unlocked the soul system, so let's have a look to it. We have four different sections. In the first one, we can equip the different souls we have. We have different slots that we can unlock after beating some stages in the trial. You have to beat some floors and every time you are going to beat a floor for the first time, you are going to get some extra souls. And the next day, depending on the floor you reached the previous day, you are going to get daily souls. Every 10 floors you get some soul crystals. And then you have the soul prayer in which you have to spend your soul crystals to acquire some. You have different qualities, the blue one being the first one, you can you have 80% chance to obtain one, you have 16% chance to obtain a purple one, 3.6% to obtain a yellow one, and finally 0.4 to obtain the best rarity ones. And you have different stats inside, crit resistance, you have attack bonus, a defense bonus. HP, basic attack damage, combo damage, counter, and finally crit damage bonus. And of course the difference is huge between these ones, the red ones, look at that, 337% combo damage, and if you check the blue ones for the same, you have 100% only, so it's more than 3 times the power. You have a PD system, every time you are going to summon one, you are going to get 1 point if it is a blue one. If you get a purple one, you are going to reset the guarantee and if you don't, you if you reach the 20 points, you are going to be guaranteed to obtain a purple one or a higher rarity one. So probably if you are a big spender, if you spend a lot of soul crystals to acquire some, you are going to have a huge power difference in comparison with others. So I'm gonna do my pulls and finger crossed, I hope that I'm gonna obtain a ton of good ones. I have 250, so let's go with some 10 pulls. Only blue ones, I got 10 points, and that's some counter, so it's not for my class. And then extra counter as well, and some basic attack damage, okay, why not? Okay, so let's continue. 10 more, only blue ones. I got some extra purples, crit damage bonus, this is not what I need, I need some extra combo, please. Okay, so 10 more. Basic attack damage. I got a legendary one. HP bonus. 1280. That's a great great one. Crit resistance and attack bonus. I'm gonna equip that one if I don't get better than that. Okay, so let's continue. I got a defense bonus 640 and crit resistance. Okay. Let's continue again. Crit damage, that's crit resistance, a basic attack, and I get no combo one. So let's continue, 10 more, okay, nothing good for me, still no combo, I got a lot of counter ones, so maybe in the future I'm gonna switch my class to a warrior, because I'm getting only counter ones. Okay, still nothing good for me, still nothing, another, I had no combo for now, in 140 pulls, come on, give me at least one. Still known? Still known? <laughs> oh Jesus, I've got everything else. Okay, there we are, this is the one I need. And that's an epic one, 225% combo damage. I'm taking that, this is cool. So let's continue. I got another one, cool. And a purple one as well. Okay, so 60 more to go, 50. Okay, I got another purple one. 30, 20, the 10 lasts. And I got nothing else. So I'm gonna equip that one to increase my combo damage. And then you need some soul fragments if you want to power up your souls. So you can get way more stats thanks to that in fact. 225% more combo. Uh, I'm gonna challenge it. I was stuck right before having the souls so let's check if it does a difference or not. That was close, but I was able to beat the boss, so the 225% helped me apparently. And so you have the salvage, and let's check, you get some extra soul fragments by dismantling some souls. That's good to know. And so in the fusion, you can fuse only the red ones to get an immortal one. So I'm gonna do the trial. This is the first floor, really easy, and I got some green ones. And apparently you have a limit, so I'm forced to do some salvage. I'm gonna select a whale and a below, and I'm gonna select everything, so it's gonna consume all the green and the blue ones I have, and I'm gonna get some extra soul fragments, soul essence. So I reached the floor 100, and now I have a malus, because I did that the same day. So if you check there, they have 100% more stats now. 
to, if I'm continuing today. But they are still really easy to beat. This is the 403 and look at that. Dead in a second. And there is a limitation today, so I can't go higher than that. If you check the rankings, everybody is stuck there and can't progress through the content today at least. So I got an extra 110 by clearing some stages in the trial, and so we are gonna do some more pulls. Only three purples. Got some extra crit damage. Okay, nothing for me. Hope I can get at least another red one. Another purple combo. Come on, 40 left to go. Legendary, legendary, give me a legendary. And no, I got absolutely nothing. So now I have five slots. So apparently you can equip only one type of soul at once. I can't equip multiple combo ones. So these are the ones I decided to equip. I have some extra combo damage. This is perfect for my class. And I really do hope that in the future I'm going to get some red ones. It's going to help me a lot. I have that red increasing my HP. I have that one increasing my attack. Uh, some extra defense and some extra basic attack damage. And so the only way to acquire some more uh, soul summons is to buy some in that event, the soul rush event. For 110 euros, you can get 65 only. So it's for big whales only, mostly, I think. If you want still to buy some, don't forget to use up to it because today you have 5% extra cashback. And if you are using my promo code, you are going to get 5% more. And this is the cashback you are going to get. For 110 euros spent, 35 euros. 34 euros in cashback so don't forget to use that and to use my promo code the mushroom this is also a way to support my channel so thank you so much to everyone that is using my promo code in my case i'm not gonna buy any i'm gonna concentrate on buying other stuff this is not the things i want to buy for now but then in order to participate in the event you need to spend your soul essence 20k soul essence to clear the four rounds I'm gonna dismantle all the purples and below because I clearly don't need that. I'm gonna get 8,000 level 6, so now it's probably the equivalent of a red one. I'm gonna upgrade my basic attack 1 as well to level 6 and that one to level 6 as well. So now it's the equivalent of red ones, but that one is really strong. I'm gonna upgrade it one more time and my combo to end that. So I'm close to complete the fourth round. I just need an extra 4,500 and I am currently top 6 and I got some extra hammers so I can level up my artifact to 27. So these are my stats now, 85% combo, 25% crit rate and I have 2,266% combo multiplier. This is cool in my opinion, but I can have better than that and these are my final attributes. Do you have more or less than that? Let me know in the comment below. By the way, on the main screen, you can select the design you want. So just select the one you prefer. And in my case, I love that one. So I'm going to select that one. You have the preview if you want to check all the stats offered by every single soul. But sadly, you have only the level one. But I'm curious to know how much stats can we get by increasing the level of the immortal ones. And then you have your attribute details. If you want to have a better look to the stats offered by every single soul, I made that chart for you so you can have a look to every stat given by the souls. It's really easy now to see that the red ones are way better than the others. Look at that. For the HP, defense and attack, it's double the increase. This is insane. And for the crit rate, you have an extra 55% there as well. And there you have a 110% more. And 45% more for the basic attack damage. And for the immortal ones, you have extra stats as well. So you have them on each corresponding category. The HP one, the defense, uh, global attack, etc. And that's pretty funny because uh, for uh, the one that is increasing your attack, you have also some extra heal rate. Why not? And you have a lot of extra PAL stuff such as PAL crit rate, crit damage, PAL global damage. 
and others. So guys, tomorrow I'm gonna try to push higher in the Soul Trial, get more summons and try to get some more red ones. I would love to get some uh, double for one category, so I'm gonna be able to fuse them into one of the purples we have and look at that. You have some 20% global HP. This is different. There you have some HP bonuses and it's not gonna give the same amount, right? Because here it's gonna be applied after all the bonuses you are gonna get. I think this is the way global stats work and in that case it's gonna be insane and I'm gonna have as well some extra HP regen bonus and this is just gonna be perfect and you have different ones depending on the category you are in so for example me I want some blade duo I'm gonna get some extra combo damage and boss damage nice for every PV PvE content let me know in the comment below if you already have an immortal one I'm curious to know so that was all for the video I hope that you enjoyed it if it's the case don't forget to like comment and subscribe have a nice day and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.